Can a league operator build a new division from scratch in Fargo Rate LMS in 10 minutes? Well, let's see. Uh, a new league operator gets into a screen that looks like this, and the first thing you see is this copy existing division. So if you do have last year's division or last session's division, that makes things a lot easier. It's a nice feature, but that'd be cheating right here. So let's uh, create a new, new division. Tralfamador League. And it's a test league for us. Uh, the game is is eight ball. You can see there's different choices here, but we'll choose eight ball. We're playing it on seven foot tables. Yes, it's a test division. You can leave it your new division as a test division until you're really ready to rock and roll with it and then switch it over. Time zone, we're at UTC minus six, which is central time, US and Canada. This is going to be a BCA PL division. And we're going to do uh, eight ball with Fargo rate handicap. There's a number of different choices. We've already selected eight ball. We could do ball average or plus minus, just like you can watch a movie with a VHS tape in your VCR. But we are going to do Fargo rate handicap. We're going to choose for our test four players per team. And we go down here to these various settings. Based upon what the information we've already given, there are defaults set in here that are all pretty reasonable. But importantly, we need to know how the scoring happens. Is it win-loss? Is it the 10-point system, 17-point system? We're going to choose the 10-point system here. Number of rounds. We have four players on a team. Uh, so we're going to actually make this four rounds. And during each round, each uh, player plays one game. So each player plays each opponent one time. Uh, most of these about reporting and how to handle tied rounds and so forth are pretty good at the defaults and you can change anything you want. Uh, and if you want to know what any particular uh, set of options is, you can hit these question marks and learn about it and so forth. Yes, we're going to do handicap scoring using Fargo ratings, uh, handicapped at 100%. And so now we're ready to uh, rock and roll and create some locations. We need to say where uh, these matches are being played. So we've got Amsterdam Billiards, and let's say Amsterdam Billiards has one seven-foot table available. It's just a small bar. And then the next location, Ralph's Bar, it's a giant pool hall. It's got 16 seven-foot tables. 11 9 foot tables available to us. Next location is Mary's Bar. It's got two tables for our use. Next location is Joe's Bar. And it's got four tables available for use. Uh, now we've got locations, we need teams. So we're going to create a variety of teams. Uh, so first we'll, we'll choose Team Kilgore. And Kilgore plays out of Amsterdam Billiards. And uh, then the next team is going to be Team Trout. Trout plays out of Ralph's. Then we're going to have the Never Lose team, plays out of Mary's, and the Never Win team plays out of Joe's. All right, so we've got some teams. We can add players to the teams. We don't have to do this right now, but we will. Uh, team Kilgore is distinguished by the fact that everybody on it has last name Kilgore. There's Brian Kilgore from Pennsylvania. Dion Kilgore from Alabama. Don Kilgore from Wisconsin. And Jason Kilgore. 
Okay, so uh, the Ralph Spar team, uh, uh, Trout, they're distinguished by every person has the name, the word Trout in their name is Angie Trout from Oklahoma. Brad Trout. David Trout. And Fred Trout from Alaska. And as you can see, there's a lot of people in this database. This is connected directly to the Fargo Rate uh, database. Okay, so we've got players on two of the teams. That's good enough for now. Uh, we're ready to create the schedule. And this is Wednesday, October 11th. And let's say league starts tonight. But next week's, let's suppose, is a holiday. So we're going to insert a no play event. And we're going to select next Wednesday for that. And that's a holiday. And hit OK. So when we generate the schedule, it's going to skip over that date. So now we're ready to generate the schedule. And the start date is today. And so we've got four teams. It takes three weeks to do a full round robin where each team plays each other team one time. Uh, so the, the league could consist of a number of round robins. Say if it was 15 weeks, that would be five round robins. Uh, or we can just select the number of weeks. It's going to be 16 weeks, and and, uh, and it'll just chug along as it may. But we're going to choose five round robins like that. And then it's going to generate a schedule, a 15-week schedule, and you get a screen that looks like this. Uh, and this is showing you, uh, in a sense, a snapshot of how balanced your schedule is. So you want each team to play each other team a similar number of times. You want the home and away to be uh, roughly balanced. You, you don't want to be playing away too many weeks in a row and, and so forth. And this gives you an idea of, of how it's doing. This wasn't a particularly hard one. Uh, this Ele Fargo Rain LMS uses a genetic algorithm to try to find the best solution to this. But if you like it, you can say use this schedule and it creates a schedule uh, like that. So now we've done settings, we've created locations, we've created teams, we've done a schedule, we're ready to say create division. And our division is now created. Uh, imagine play happens, now we're ready to enter scores. So we select, uh, so let's say today is a match date, uh, and we're going to enter some scores. And you see the score sheet pops up, it looks like this. And maybe you've seen score sheets like this, maybe you haven't. Uh, oftentimes score sheets have numbers like 2-3 and so forth. But here it's uh, color-coded. If you're the first player here, you have a black rectangle, and in each round you play the player with the black rectangle in the other, uh, on the other team. Makes it a lot easier to follow. So we've got uh, the teams here, we've got, we have to say who played. So this is the Kilgore team. Brian Kilgore plays in the first spot, and then Dion, and Don, and Jason. And you can see their Fargo ratings populated over here. This is, once again, connected directly to the Fargo rate database. Uh, here's the Trout team. Uh, Angie, Brad, David, and Fred. Um, and let's say that... Uh, uh, that I wanted to be a sub on this team and get added to the roster. Well, we can just go out right now and search the Fargo Ray database and find me. Then I'd be added to that roster, and I could be substituted in here. So now I'm playing on that team. Okay, uh, what you see is that with the Fargo ratings here, uh, it's looking at the Fargo ratings on this team and the Fargo ratings on this team. And you can see that three points is being awarded to this team per round as a handicap. That's based upon the Fargo ratings. All right, we're ready to score a match. So we'll put in some, some numbers. Uh, two, four, five, ten. Okay, now they're valid game scores, and you can see that in the first round, uh, 
this team got 36 points plus a three-point handicap, so they get 39, so they walloped that team, and in fact, they probably won all the rounds here and so forth. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and save this score sheet. All right, and now if we choose, we've got at least one score sheet scored, we can look at division reports, and this is the link <clears throat> that your players will have. And you can see they can look at team standings, player standings, player standings by team, and the schedule results. This is what the team standings look like. Team Trout won five rounds, so they, they won the four rounds, and we had it set up that total points that was actually treated as an extra round, so it's five to zero. Uh, the points, the games, and so forth, that's the team standings. Player standings look like this. Player standings by team look like this. And the schedule results looks like this. And what you see is the, the one match that we already scored, there's a view button here. And if you hit that, it'll you'll view the score sheet. Let's try that. Okay, so it looks like that. And for the matches that haven't been scored yet, just the print button appears here, and that gives you the, the basic information about the match and, and the roster for each team. All right, how'd we do?